the dictionary. This is it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass female characters in teen drama shows. I want both. I want freedom and power. Don't defend me. Don't talk about me. Don't talk to me. Ever. There's only me. I am the law. For this list, we'll be looking at fierce females from beloved TV dramas that have the baddest reputations in the best way. Although there has been an abundance of admirable women on TV lately, like Beth Harmon in The Queen's Gambit, our focus will be exclusively shows targeting a teenage audience. Ms. Harmon, what do you say to those in the chess federation who accuse you of being too glamorous to be a serious chess player? I would say that it's much easier to play chess without the burden of an Adam's apple. This video will include important character developments that made these baddies who they are, so this is your spoiler warning. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments which hero you think is the baddest of them all. Number 10. Maeve Wiley Sex education. Sarcasm, intelligence, and bad girl energy ooze from Emma Mackey's character Maeve Wiley in Netflix's hit British drama Sex Education. Unfortunately, due to rumors and her tough girl exterior, Wiley's peers brand her as a social outcast. This kind of thing sticks and it hurts, and no one deserves to be shamed, not even Ruby. As a result of absent parents and a troublesome older brother who basically raised her, Wiley develops independence and learns how to fend for herself. She showcases her street smarts when she teams up with main character Otis Milburn. Wiley proposes a profitable idea that leads to the two creating their own sex therapy clinic for cash. The students at the school need your help, Otis. And we need their money. I haven't really worked out the details yet, but I'm good with numbers, so I'll deal with the business end of things and you can do the therapy. With her independence and innovative thinking, this baddie is proof that your past does not define you. I need to report a child at risk. Number nine, Jessica Davis, 13 Reasons Why. I don't need your protection. I don't need anything from anyone, okay? Played by Alicia Bowe, Jessica Davis is assaulted by the captain of the football team, Bryce Walker. With the help of her former friend Hannah Baker and then-boyfriend Justin Foley, Davis recalls her trauma in the first season of the series. We both know she made all that stuff up. Did she? Because that photo of her on the slide with Justin was real. The hot or not list was real, so... Maybe the rest was too. After conquering the skeletons in her closet, Davis refuses to be silenced any longer. I just need you to know that you didn't break me. Or I guess the parts that you did break, I'm rebuilding them and they'll be stronger than they were ever before. Her character flourishes in season three when she starts the Liberty High School Survivors Club, Hands Off Our Bodies. As a strong ally, Jessica sticks it to the man whenever applicable to ensure that her and her fellow survivors' voices are heard. It's time for you to know the survivors in your life, to hear their stories and to know that their voice matters. My name is Jessica Davis, and I'm a survivor. Number 8. Hope Michelson – Legacies Starting out as a recurring character in the originals, Hope Michelson eventually became a series regular and got her own spin-off series. In Legacies, we're given a deeper look into the supernatural teenager storyline. Looks like you guys could use some help. As the descendant of powerful original Klaus Michelson and werewolf Haley Marshall Kenner, Hope is genetically stacked. Since she is a vampire, werewolf, and witch lineage, Danielle Rose Russell's character is classified as a tribrid. Why not try all three? We won't give away too much of the series plot, but we can tell you that with Michelson's powerful genes, enemies will not want to cross her. Okay. Can I kick your ass now? Number seven, Isabel Izzy Lightwood, Shadowhunters. It's more fun to break the rules than to follow them. This deadly shadow hunter has a fiery personality and a daring sense of style. Emma Rode Tubia's character is known to conceal her weapons in her fashionable footwear and is often equipped with her signature whip, but her pragmatic style is not the only kick-ass quality about her. I don't fight girls, especially hot ones. Then I guess it's gonna be really one-sided. As the middle sibling to Alec, Max, and Jace, Lightwood has strong family values. In the supernatural drama, Isabel forms a strong bond with her brothers when she trains beside them in the New York Institute. Her pride is commendable, and the shadow hunter will risk her life to protect the one she loves. This is 
Number six, Sabrina Spellman, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. My father was an angel. I have his blood. <laughs> also, consent. It's real. As half human, half witch, Sabrina Spellman must conquer adolescence a bit differently than other teenagers. There are a lot of people facing their fears right now, fighting battles they know they're not gonna win. So if this is mine, and let's get it over with. In Netflix's take on the Archie comic, we see Sabrina's supernatural strength progress as she blossoms into a young woman. Leery of her dark side, Sabrina receives an explanation for her strength when the Dark Lord identifies himself as her real father in the first season's finale. So he tricked my father and used my mother? And now he expects me to fall in line. Well, I say, not today. Satan. Later on in the series, Sabrina cunningly jumps at the opportunity to embrace both realms of her life when faced with a version of herself in a time loop. Able to cover more ground, the Sabrinas make a pact that allows Sabrina Spellman to live her life on Earth, while Queen Sabrina Morningstar can literally raise a little hell. Sabrina, still happy? I am. I made my own happiness. And I hope you can too. Number five, Eleven, Stranger Things. Eleven. Yeah. What's it mean? Eleven. Although Eleven has a limited vocabulary at the beginning of the series, her psychokinesis is out of this world. Her powers are so intense that when channeling them, her body weakens, resulting in temporary nosebleeds. For season after season, she shows her strength as she continuously rescues the residents of Hawkins. Co-creator Ross Duffer has said that the show was intended as a limited series, but Eleven's character and Stranger Things were so compelling that Netflix wanted more. Millie Bobby Brown might play the youngest character on this list, but with her power and determination, Eleven proves that she is far from just a number. Number four, Lydia Martin, Teen Wolf. The leading lady of Teen Wolf, Lydia Martin is seen in earlier episodes as a stereotypical TV drama mean girl. I do the captain of the winning lacrosse team. And if they start off the season losing, I do the captain of the losing lacrosse team. I don't date losers. However, it's eventually revealed that this person is not her true self. Not only is her IQ score higher than genius intelligence, Holland Roden's character also encompasses psionic powers as a banshee or wailing woman. Unsure of how to control her powers, Lydia's character is compassionate to others as her subconscious consents death. This psychic advantage often sets her pack one step ahead of their enemies. I'm psychic. You're psychic? Appearing in almost every episode of the MTV series, Lydia's badass capabilities are mind-shattering. Oh my god. I thought you'd never figure it out. Number three, Bonnie Bennett, The Vampire Diaries. Is that all you got? Let's find out. This mighty sorceress from the CW's Supernatural show is fierce, understanding, and empathetic. Played by Cat Graham, Bonnie Bennett hails from Enchantress lineage as her grandmother was a powerful witch. In the first season, Bonnie is fired up as she develops superpowers similar to those she's heard about in family stories. Did I do this? I think so, yeah. Nobody else saw, did they? Don't tell anybody. Although the audience sees her character meet her demise on a few occasions, she still appears in all eight seasons of The Vampire Diaries. For the first time in forever, my friends are okay. I don't want to take that from them. Bonnie Bennett is the type of friend you want in your circle, because to her, friendships are to die for. It took some time. But I think I finally figured this witch thing out. Number two, Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars. This sassy private investigator may not be supernatural, but she's still equipped with a superpower, namely her quick thinking. Why don't you leave the heavy thinking to me, sugar pants? Now go make yourself pretty. Creator Rob Thomas's original idea involved a teen boy detective, but he decided that the narrative would be more compelling from a female perspective. The problem with chasing the storm is that it wears you down, breaks your spirit. Even the experts agree, 
A girl needs closure. And his intuition was right. Reviewers praised Kristen Bell's hard-edged performance as Veronica Mars, and the series' first season scored a Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 95%. I just ignored all the spoiler alerts, which I know is kind of douchebaggy. Dancing around a few different networks and even the big screen, Mars displays her brains and brawn, calling for backup only when necessary. One word for me and backup goes for your throat. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Betty Cooper, Riverdale. Killer instincts help this blonde badass solve crimes. You want vengeance? You wanna go full dark, no stars, Veronica? I'm with you. And I have a plan. And Shirley, and with an E. This passionate orphan always stands up for what's right. So, I suppose we should get to work. Is it more important to talk about who had the biggest cabbage than to discuss issues which concern an entire gender? Tandy Bowen, Cloak and Dagger. This supernatural Shiro does her best to solve wrongdoing in the world. A wise man once told me they're made of hope. Brooke Davis, One Tree Hill. With beauty, bronze, and bravery, she conquers betrayal graciously. Not that bad. Not that bad. I was just arrested and explored. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Buffy Summers, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm Buffy. The Vampire Slayer and you are? Rescuing her town from danger for seven whole seasons, Sarah Michelle Gellar's Buffy Summers is Sunnydale's savior. Standing five foot four, this slayer may not be imposing at a glance, but her drive to defeat demonic threats makes her stand tall. All right, I get it, you're evil. Do we have to chat about it all day? The intention was to subvert the trope of the helpless and disposable blonde female character in the horror genre. It's always complicated. And at some point, someone has to draw the line, and that is always going to be me. Of course, saving the world from bloodsuckers is a difficult job, and Buffy does suffer a few fatalities. Nonetheless, she always comes back, honoring the famous Beyonce formation lyric as Buffy slays all day. Without doubt, Buffy is the biggest badass on this list. I feel like I'm better than them. Superior. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.